Hey guys, in this lesson, I show you how to create a simple door opening animation in Flash. After I release my new episode of Mr. Benick's class, which I recommend you check out by the way, I know that's a shameless plug, but hey, it's my tutorial, I can do what I want. I got a question regarding how to do a door opening animation. Well, that's what this lesson is all about. I will show you two simple ways to create a door opening animation in Flash. You can also do this technique in Anime Studio. It's a little bit different, of course, but I thought I would start with Flash because, but I thought I would start with Flash as I know most of my users use Flash. So to get started, I need you to recreate this project file, or at least somewhat recreate it. So I'll talk you through really quick as to what I did here. First, on the first layer, I have a character. You can put this as whatever you want, a character, an object, a background, whatever. This is what will be behind the door once the door opens. Next, we have the wall, which goes up and over and down. In the middle, we have a gap so that our character can peek through and so that we can see what is ever behind the door. Then we have the frame, which is just, of course, a door frame. We have the door, which I, it's a very simple door. I just put a knob on it. And this is also a movie clip symbol. So make sure that you make your door a movie clip symbol. Finally, we have the hinges, which of course just gives off the effect that this is of course a door. So there you go. So go through and just create that or get something similar to that. And once you've done that, we can move on to animating the door. First, I need you to create a keyframe at frame 30. So right click and insert a keyframe. Now, while still on frame 30 and on the door layer, Go up to Modify, Transform, Flip Horizontal. With the Selection tool, move your door over so that it matches the end of the door like this. Now, what I need you to do is go back to frame one and right click and create a classic tween. Now the thing about this is, is you could use a motion tween, but it doesn't seem to give off the same effect that a classic tween does. Also, if you're using an earlier version of Flash, you should be able to follow along with this tutorial by using the classic tween. So, once we do this, if we page through, we can see that it doesn't quite work like it should. It, you know, the door is going up and it's just not quite there yet. We're gonna have to go through this tweening process and create keyframes and readjust the door where needed so that it looks like it's not flying off the frame. So let's go to frame 15, right click and insert a keyframe. Now what I'm going to do is take my free transform tool and just nudge it down like this so we can get the proportions to look a little bit more like they should. And once we've done that, we'll just take the selection tool and reposition like this. And we're trying to keep that gap in the bottom part of the door. So we'll go like that. Um, and I might just actually nudge this up a little bit more like this to get that gap on the bottom of the door to look like it's actually there. Okay, that should work. Now, between frames 1 and 15, let's right click and insert a keyframe. As you can see, it's looking a little bit better, but it's not quite there yet. So we'll just need to help it along here by just nudging the door down. Like so. And then we'll do the same between frame 15 and 30. Just like that. So now, if we look, we can see that it's coming together, but we still have a little ways to go. 
So let's right click between these two frames, between um, eight and 15 and insert a keyframe and we'll just nudge it over. And of course we'll do that between frames 15 and 23 as well. And between frames 23 and 30. And finally, we'll go back between frame one and this other frame here, and we'll nudge this as well. Oops, go back <laughs> and go like that. Okay, so as you can see now, we have a series of keyframes where we've repositioned the door. And if we come through here, it should work fairly well. And it works well for the most part. There's a couple of little hitches here and there. Like for instance, we have a gap up here right here. So we can just insert a keyframe and just nudge it over slightly if that happens for you as well. So we'll just move it down like that as well. And we'll just go through and make sure everything else seems to look right here. We could probably use a little polishing right here as well. So we'll just do that. And we have a little issue right here as well. So insert a keyframe and go like that. Okay, so now if we play this, we can see that it's a door opening animation and it looks pretty convincing. Now, of course, there's a couple of issues with this type of method. First of all, it's a very quick method, and that's why I'm showing it to you. It just It's an easy method to get started with. But number two, you'll notice that it has a very two-dimensional look, and that's because, well, we're taking a two-dimensional object and we're flipping it. So it has that type of look. Now, you could readjust for this if you took the knob and put it on its own layer, and you animated the knob separately from the door. So that way, the knob doesn't look flat when you do the flip uh, movement with the door. So that's one way you can do that. The other way would be to simply do this frame by frame. You go through frame by frame and you draw out the door and you animate it. And when you get to about this point, you make sure the door looks like it has depth. Or what you could do alternatively is create another tweened door and put it side by side with this door to create the look that it is three dimensional. So those are just some tips you can use when using this method if you want to make your door look a little bit more realistic and a little bit more three dimensional because obviously right now it doesn't really have that three dimensional look to it. Now finally, let's clear these keyframes and I'll show you another way to do this. So I will just right click on all those keyframes and clear them. And we'll remove the tween from frame one so that we have just the standard door. Now I'm going to right click on frame one and choose create motion tween. I will go to frame 30, come over here to the 3D rotation tool. And you'll have this tool only in Flash CS4 or CS5. If you have an earlier version, this will not work for you. Now we can rotate the door in a three-dimensional way. So we can simply just come up here and flip it with the y-axis, just like that. And then with the selection tool, we can simply just move the door over like that. Now, because we are messing with a 3D look of this, we might need to use the free transform tool like we did last time and just nudge it a little bit and move it down so that we still have that look. So now, as you can see, it's a little bit more convincing than it was with the tweening motion, but we still have a couple of issues. So we'll just have to go to frame 15, of course, and readjust. And if needed, take the free transform tool 
and just nudge it a little bit so that we can have the dimensions a bit more accurate to what we were doing. And we can just go through here and of course reposition the door where we need it so that we give off the look and that this door is opening and not flying off the handle or the, or the frame rather. Still probably have to readjust the frame 15 point right here because that bottom part still goes up a little bit too much. So I'll just go like that. Okay. And we can probably readjust a little bit right here as well. Okay, and if we go to control, test scene, we can see that the door opens. And you can see that there's still a little bit of issue with how it opens. And all that requires is going through and just tweaking and repositioning so that the door stays in that position when opening. That's all it really requires. But anyway, that should give you a head start on how to do a door opening animation. Again, it's not perfect. But this is how you would do it if you're going to tween, if you want to do a very simple tween. Now, there's many other ways to do it. You can do the frame by frame opening animation, which is kind of what I did in Anime Studio. You can do onion skinning, of course, to help you along with that process. You can put the doorknob on a symbol itself or a layer itself and move it along with the door and even put two doorknobs on one end on the other to create that 3D look. You could, of course, put two of these symbols together to create some depth to this as well. So this is just to give you a start on it, to give you an idea of how to do it, a very simple way to do it. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.